explore the latest online trends. Navigate your way through the digital jungle. Get a global perspective. We'll be your guide and show you what's possible. You decide what really matters to you. Shift. In 15 minutes on DW. When the juice runs out, simply swap the battery. That's what the Chinese car maker Neo is offering, now also in Germany. And we're about to try it out. How does it work? How long does it take? And what are the benefits? Grab it. Sometimes a seed is all you need to allow big ideas to grow. We're bringing environmental conservation to life with money packs by Global Ideas. We will show you how climate change and environmental conservation is taking shape around the world and how we can all make a difference. Knowledge grows through sharing. Download it now for free. This is DW News live from Berlin. Anti government demonstrators take to the streets in Iran the day after the first execution of a protester. They're calling for an end to the regime in fear that authorities will carry out more executions to crack down on dissent. Also, on the program, the balance of power in the U.S. Senate is in question as U.S. Senator Kirsten Sinema leaves the Democratic Party. And a big shock in the World Cup in Qatar as Brazil are out in the quarterfinals. The tournament favorites lose on penalties to Croatia. Rahina Mohammed, welcome to the program. Protesters took to the streets in Iran again after a man was put to death in the first execution over anti-government demonstrations. Mohsen Shikari was hanged on Thursday after what observers described as a show trial. Activists are warning that at least a dozen more Iranian protesters could face the same fate, but that hasn't stopped them from speaking out against the government. Death to Khamenei, protesters shout Zahadan on Friday. They also took to the streets in other cities like here in Rutsa, one day after the execution of a 23-year-old demonstrator. Others are also facing the death penalty, the most prominent rapper Tumash Salehi. He was arrested nearly 40 days ago. The musician was forced to make a confession on state television, a common procedure in Iran. Music can spread violence. That was my mistake. I apologize to all of you and to society. On Friday afternoon, we visited his uncle in Bochum in Germany, where he runs a coffee shop. Naturally, he's watched the confession video. He told us his reaction. A feeling of hatred. 
of rage towards the Islamic Republic. What I saw in this video is that Tumaj didn't speak voluntarily. The voice of Tumaj was not one that was full of energy and joy to express his inner feelings. While Salehi has not yet been convicted, Dr. Hamid Ghar Hassanlu has already been sentenced to death. He was convicted of participating in the killing of a militia member at a protest in the city of Karaj despite his denials.